captivity for over nine months. Go ahead. Thank you. Yeah. On the topic of, of presidents, with President Biden being done in six months, does the administration, thereby extension, the State Department, Anthony Blinken, are they at risk of losing any leverage of ending the war in Gaza or in freeing the hostages? Uh, so the president is the president and brings in his conversations the full weight and authority and credibility and influence of the United States. And that has not changed, and that is not going to change as long as he's president. And the same goes for the Secretary of State. And so when we have conversations with foreign governments, we always make clear our position and the things that we are willing to do to stand by our position, and that will be the case. If I may, and this, if you'll indulge me, please, on Nicaragua, I know it's totally separate, but can I? Yeah. Or, okay, thank you. Religious freedom in Nicaragua, a couple questions. Uh, you, sir, you're, I'm sure you're familiar with it, the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom. Uh, they say religious freedom conditions in Nicaragua are getting worse, deteriorating. In fact, USERF is holding a virtual hearing tomorrow to discuss the situation in Nicaragua, religious freedom. First question, will the State Department be in attendance at that virtual meeting? Uh, I don't know the answer to that. I'm happy to check and get, and get back to you. Two, uh, US, uh, USERF said recently, quote, Nicaragua's government continues to repress the Catholic Church for its human rights advocacy by arbitrarily arresting, imprisoning, and exiling clergy and lay people and shuttering and seizing the property of Catholic charitable and educational organizations. In fact, just recently Ortega shut down Radio Maria Nicaragua. That all said, what more can the U.S. do right now, this moment, to help those in Nicaragua being persecuted for their faith. So you have seen us on a number of occasions speak out about the persecution of religious figures uh, in Nicaragua, Nicaragua and call for the release of religious figures, and we will continue to do that. Have you seen it? Is, is Ortega listening? Uh, I, I will, will say that it's not just something that we speak out on, but that we work with our partners in the region to accomplish. Uh, it is a high priority for us, the, the exercise of freedom of religion, both in Nicaragua and all around the world. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Uh, today, Secretary Blinken met with the Yazidi society leaders here at the State Department. And the Yazidi communities, since 10, 10 years ago when they faced the, the genocide,